Hello guys, today we are going to discuss a new program where we need to calculate the age from two dates. Two dates. For example, think this is his birth date, where date of birth, for example, DOB, and this is his current date. We need to calculate what is his age, okay? And there are, or else this question can be asked like, we will be given with two dates, calculate the age. How we will calculate the age? For example, for example, I cannot explain your date of birth. Consider a person uh, like Ramu, his date of birth is, he has born on 5th of October 2001. Okay. And today the current date is 2909 Okay. How we need to calculate the age? In a calendar, in a calendar, we have some dates, right? If I, if a person has born in 5th October, in this year, if he has crossed that age, then he will get as, for example, if he has born in 5th October 2001, by completing 5th October, 5th October 2002, means in October 5th, if he reach October 5th, then he will get age 1. Again, 5th October 2003, he will get age 2. And again, 2004, he will get age 3. Like that, by every year, he will get age, right? But by by seeing only year, we cannot uh, tell the age. By considering the month and by considering the uh, date, we need to tell the age. How can we tell this? First, for this, how we need to do means, for example, if you are given with two dates, how we will tell the age means, from this year, 2024, from this year, 2024, minus the previous age, previous day, year, from 2001, what you will get? 23, right? Similarly, decrease 1, okay? Decrease 1. Why means? We need to check. For example, if he has born in 5th October, if he had crossed the 5th October, then only he should get 1 as age, right? Similarly here, for example, think 2002 minus 2001, what is his age? 1, but decrease 1 for simplicity, 1 minus 1, his age is 0 only at present. If he crossed October, if he crossed October means he is sitting in November, December. If the month, month 2 is greater than month 1. If he has crossed the month, birth month, means here October. If his month here is November 11 or December 12, then add 1. Okay, you need to add 1, right? You will get 1. And what if the case 2 is where the both are present in same day, same day. Then he must cross his birth date. For example, I will give one example here. Here this is a one bit very complex, means very simple it is. What we need to do means, here observe, how we need to calculate it. First do, here 2002, 2002 minus 2001 and 1 minus 1, we should not give age 1 directly. First decrease 1 age, first decrease 1 age. If he has crossed the present day or not, means his birth date. Here example, see here. 9. 9 means, what is 9? Uh, 10 is October, 9 is September, right? September, how can he cross his birth date? Even the month is not matching, then how can he cross? So his age is 0 only. For example, if he is in 10th October, 10th October, 2002, then what is his age? 2002 minus 2001 minus 1. You will get 0 as present age. Again, check month. Oh, month is matching. And check date. 5, 10. 10 is greater than 5, right? So he's crossed his birth date. So increment by one. Then answer is one. Okay. By this way you will calculate. The procedure is first decrease year two minus year one and decrease by one. Because to make it simple, we need to check whether he has crossed the date or not. If he has crossed the date, then simply add by one to get his age. That's all. Okay. Now come to algorithm. Here we are given with uh, read two dates where D1 represents day and M1 represents month and Y1 represents year. Again, day 2, M2, year 2. So we are given with two dates. For example, 5, 10, 2001 and some 10, 4, 2002. Okay. And here minus 1. I forgot it. Okay. Now what we need to do? First, year 2 minus year 1. 2002 minus 2001, 1. Again, minus 1. So the age is 0, at present 0, wait, and check, M2, month 2, month 2 is 4, greater than month 1, means uh, he has born in October, now we are in 
January, February, March, April only. April means you have crossed your birthday. We haven't crossed it, na? So, don't do the age. Just directly print the age. Or example, if he is in current month, or else check here. If it is like, he has born in 5 May only. Now the age is, now the date is 10 4. What we need to do first, y2 minus y1 minus 1. You will get 0. Now we will check. m2 greater than m1. m2 greater than m1 means he has crossed his birth date. Month he has crossed. If he has crossed the month, automatically he has crossed his date, right? So leave this. He hasn't crossed. He is still in May only. Now, if month is matching. So here month is matching. Then we need to check date 2. Date 2 is 10. 10 must be greater than or equal to day 1. Because if he is in his birth date also, his age is increased. Similarly, day 2 is greater than or equal to day 1. Then age is equals to age plus 1. Here you observe 10 means he crossed his birth date which is 5. So age is 1. So you will get age as 1. Like this way we will calculate the age. Now we will discuss the program. Okay. So I am using GDB compiler and I am writing the C program. Let us me let me check if it is working good or not. Just it's in my okay, it is working good. Now we need to declare six variables, right? Date one, month one, year one. Similarly, date two, month two, year two. Okay. Uh, once you remember how you will calculate age of your birthday, then you will get this program very easily. Okay. Now I need to ask the user to enter his date and all the things. Enter the date one. How he need to enter? See like this date, date, month, month, year, 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 year. Okay. In this format, you need to enter. Similarly, I am reading three variables. So percentage D, percentage D, percentage D, percentage D, and I am percent. I am reading day one and month one and year one. Okay, in this way I am reading three things. Similarly, for day two also same code, right? I am copy pasting and I am asking print date two. Here I am doing like date two and month two and year two. Finally, what I will get? I will get the two dates as input and I need to calculate age now so that I need to store one variable age. So which will store the variable means date age is equals to what I told y2 year 2 minus year 1 again minus 1 for simplicity we need to check whether he has crossed his month or not now if month 2 greater than month 1 what is the meaning if he has put uh, born in june now month 2 is present date if it is august already it is september right now i am making video in september so already i had crossed june so i need to increment the age now he has crossed his birthday if his month is greater than month 1 directly add the answer or else if month 2 equal to equal to month 1 so he is in current month and date 2 greater than or equal to date 1 then what we need to do is age age is equals to age is equals to age plus 1 right and you may think that if month is below if month is uh, month or date is below then no need to decrement already we have decremented here already we have decreased the value okay this is the program and we need to print the age so the age is percentage d comma age we will print the age so in this way we will do the program now i am running this now i am giving like we have discussed one program 01 05 2001 okay this is the date one and date two is 04 05 and 2002 what is his age first y2 minus y1 minus 1 so 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 0 right and check month is matching month is matching and he has crossed his birth rate or not he has crossed it so we need to increment age by one so age 0 plus 1 1 is the age so we need to get the age is 1 see the age is 1 for example do one case 04 05 2001 this is one date 03 05 2002 means I haven't crossed my birth date. How can I increment my age? So I cannot increment. Now I should get that my age is zero. See my age is zero. In this way, this is a program which we had done. I hope I have cleared this question. If you have understood this program, please give me a like, share and subscribe. 
and if you found it helpful you can if you have any doubt or if you want any video on a particular question you can ask me in the comments i will make a video on that okay thank you for watching